Hi, this is Thomas from Cozy Grammar, speaking to you from my cozy writing yurt, where I am enjoying being close to the warm fire after several cold days. We are in the middle of our Ask Cozy Grammar session, which is our live Q&A session for our students. We also record these sessions and make them available on our YouTube channel and our other social media channels. Our next question comes from Liam W. from Meridian, Idaho, and he asks, how do you tell the difference between a gerund and a verb? To me, a gerund is still a normal verb. Well, this is wonderful. This is a wonderful question, Liam. Uh, a, uh, a gerund indeed is the form uh, of a verb. Let me think of a good example of, of a gerund that we can play with. Um, let's take the word sing. So the sort of dictionary form of the verb sing is sing. Uh, and the gerund of a verb is the ing form singing, right? So uh, we can use singing uh, in a sentence. We can use singing as a verb in the sense of I am singing. I am singing, we're using the ing form of the verb as uh, a continuous, uh, the present continuous tense would be the technical term. However, a gerund is a particular usage of that ing form of the verb to use the verb as a noun. So here's an example. I like her singing. Suppose I've heard uh, somebody sing a song and I, I liked her singing. So if I say I like her singing, here singing is acting as basically a noun, a person, place, or thing. The action of singing. Uh, and so we can treat it like a noun, even though it's been derived from a verb. So that's how we, that's one of the ways we can distinguish between sing or even singing as a verb and singing as a gerund and hence as a noun. I like her singing. So here in our sentence, just to, to analyze the sentence a little bit, we have the verb like, and then we have an object for the verb like. I like what? I like her singing. And singing is the object and her is an, basically an adjective for describing who's singing I like. And we could even make the sentence similar. We could just say, I like singing. If I say, I like singing, I'm saying, I like something. And that something happens to be the action of singing, which we express through the gerund singing. So, because we have the luxury of being here alive on this, uh, in this meeting together, Liam, does that answer your question or do you have any follow-up questions you would like to pose, which I'm always happy to take? Uh, no, that answers my question. Thank you. Yeah, that's wonderful. perfectly clear. Awesome. Fabulous. Well, that's very, you know, that's wonderful because gerund, you know, verbs, nouns, most people feel pretty comfortable with verbs and nouns, but gerund, is just strange enough in our grammatical, uh, technical vo uh, vocabulary um, that it becomes confusing. Uh, so I'll give you one last hint or, or tip with the, the word gerund. I use the G in gerund to remind me that the gerund of a verb is the ing form of the verb. Um, and in fact, Darren has both the N, an N and a G, although they're not next to each other. So that may be helpful or maybe not. Um, and just to think of the gerund as being a noun that uses the ING form, I think you'll be just fine.